In the last video, I hinted about how I had some problems with my jig, and you're about to see that. In a nutshell, when I installed those runners, I should have laid both of them flat, but you'll notice the one near me, the front edge of the saw, is standing on edge. Also, that clamp, way too far from the end of the board. Too much leverage there. It didn't have enough clamping force to safely contain it. Also, the dowel I was using was the dowel I used last time, and I forgot to cut it off. It, it does get kind of mangled at the end of it, and I should have cut it off so that it had a fresh, clean surface. Additional weight in the saw might have helped. All in all, it sort of came together at the wrong moment and uh, got a little sketchy. it start to go wrong and I tried to back it up and wiggle it back and forth and make room for the saw blade so that I could let go of it to turn the saw itself off. I was afraid to let go of the piece at that point but as you can see it, it didn't matter. Because it kicked over sideways, it bit harder. Because it bit harder, it kicked even farther over sideways. That'd be a construction materials flaw. But we survived it. You can see there's where it started to bite. And it entered this sort of downward spiral here, taking a larger and larger and larger chunk. But we're going to make it. We got lucky, the, the gods were, were smiling upon us because it didn't bite all the way across the rim, which means I'll be able to put this back on and finish out the cut. After it's done jamming. Yeah, hopefully we won't jam again. And that's what we did. Reset the jig, went right back to work. It wasn't as if this big hunk of wood is going to come flying out of there and kill people. It's too heavy. And, and maybe if you had a five horse table saw or direct dive table saw, you know, I only got one belt and I know that mine will slip when she jams and you can hear the belt screaming there. And it wasn't as if my fingers were ever in a position where it could come and get me. My problem was I was hanging onto a piece of wood and I could tell it had gone wrong. I knew it had gone wrong, but I wasn't entirely sure what to do about it. And what I tried to do, like I said, was wiggle it back and forth, make some room in there so that I could hold it with one hand. And it didn't work. And because I was working from the end, like you see me working here, I couldn't knee kick the on off switch. I don't know. I think that a, a few simple preparations uh, would have prevented it from happening in the first place. And overall, it's probably a lot more exciting looking than it actually was. Now it's got the second one ready. I told Nancy about the cup, Daddy. I told Nancy about the cup. Yeah? You ready for lunch? That, that dust collector. Yeah, I bet that dust collector's real full. Let's go empty it. Just judging from what's on the ground and the fact that it's not sucking anymore. <laughs> 